Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm gonna show you how to make a torch in Blender and then import it into Unity. In Blender just press Shift A and we'll add a cylinder right here. Then you can change this value to add or decrease detail. I'm gonna decrease and uh, I'm just gonna use a very low poly model here because I like that style. And now you can just... Uh, I just move this up here and then uh, we can start modeling this. So select this top part and now I'll just move it up. And this is the length of the torch. And I'm going for those kind of bamboo torches that you see like stuck in the ground. You could go for a different one, but this is the one I'm gonna make. If I take everything and scale it, and then do this to make it longer. Now scale it. I think this is pretty good. This is our torch. As you can see, it's very simple, but that's it. You don't really have to have a high, highly detailed torch. I'm just gonna call this torch. And when we're importing into Unity, you always want to set the, set the origin to the middle right here. So just press shift C to center this cursor if it's not centered and then press shift control alt C origin 3d cursor and now you can press RX minus 90 to rotate it for minus 90 degrees on the X axis and then press control A and apply location rotation and scale and then you can press RX 90 to bring it back but don't apply the rotation this time. Now you can just go file, export FBX, I'll call this something like torch. And then check selected objects down here and this for scaling, for fixing the scale of the object. Export. Now we'll go into Unity. Just find your file and then drag it into Unity. And you'll have this prefab right here. If I drag it in, you can see it's a bit too big. I, that's no problem, I can just scale it down maybe even lower something like this is good for our torch we can create a kind of a vo wooden material so wood material and then we'll just drag it to our torch change the color value right here to a nice brown color something like this seems fine Next thing you're going to need is a fire particle system. You can find one on the asset store or you can check out my video. I already made a video on how to make one, a low poly one. And there's a bunch of other tutorials if you want a more detailed one. So I'll just drag it up and kind of place it where you want it. Right now, the torch is just kind of emit emitting these particles. What we want it to do is also have a light to it. So we just right click in your hierarchy and add a new point light. And point lights just emit light in this kind of area. And I'll place it in the same area where I want the light to come from. And now I just want to change the color of the light to a orangey or red color. And you can see that it's kind of emitting some light to the boxes around here. You can change the intensity to emit more or emit less. I think something like 2.5 works fine. And now we just have to put all of this together. I'll just rename my point light to something like torch light. So just create a empty object and place it in the middle or where your torch is. Mine is in the middle. Okay, so your game object should be at the base of the torch. I think that's most convenient. I'll just rename this now to torch prefab or something like that. And then take your uh, fire particle system your torch and your torch light and drag them to this free prefab and now you can just take this prefab maybe drag it into the project here and now whenever you want a new torch you can just drag it out here and you'll have everything set up so hopefully this helped you if it did be sure to leave a like comment down below S share this with your friends um, you can subscribe and also there's a pa patreon in in my description so you can uh, support me on there if you want. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.